بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلب الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء السادس من المحور السادس لمادة نظرية الآلات Theory of Machines والذي بعنوان Gears Here I will present some features of our simple gear train When there is only one gear on each shaft it is known a simple gear train You can see here on each shaft we have one gear okay one gear on each shaft this is called a simple gear train so since the gear one here for example drives the gear two therefore gear one is called a driver the input here it is called a driver and the gear two is called a driven this is the output or follower it may be noted that the motion of the driven gear is opposite to the motion of a driven gear. We can see here the direction of rotation for gear one. It is opposite the direction of rotation for gear two. For the calculation of gears, so the most important thing is to calculate or to find out the speed ratio, okay? So the speed ratio for simple gear train is equal to the speed of the driver divided by the speed of the driven. It is also equal to the number of teeth on the driven divided by the number of teeth on the, on the driver. And also we find here the train value, it is the opposite of the speed ratio. So it is speed of the driven divided by the speed of the driver and equal to number of teeth on the driver divided by the number of teeth on the driven. Let's move now to compound gear trains so when there are more than one gear on a shaft then the gear train is called compound train of gears we can see here for this shaft we can find two gears here also for one shaft we have two gears this is called compound gear trains some advantages to the compound gear trains so much larger speed reduction from the first shaft to the last shaft can be obtained with the small gears if a sample gear train is used to give a large speed reduction so the last gear has to be very large in case of simple gear train okay usually for a speed reduction in excess of seven to one a simple train a simple train is not used and the compounded train or worm gearing is employed. Here we have on this figure compound gear train. So the speed ratio it is equal to speed of the first driver, the first one, divided by the speed of the last driven or follower. This is the driven, okay? It is also equal to the product of the number of teeth on the drivens divided by the product of the number of teeth on the drivers train value is the opposite of the speed ratio so let's see here the speed ratio it is equal to let's see here for this example product of the number of teeth on the driven so the driven here the driven gears are number six number six number four and number two then here we find z2 Z4, Z6, divided by the num product of the number of teeth on the drivers. So the drivers are number 5, number 3, and number 1. Z1, multiply Z3, multiply Z5. This is the speed ratio.